Hi there, Kirk for QFX here. Um, I keep getting asked the question, what the is Atmos? Um, okay, basically, for years and years we mixed on one speaker that was called Mono, then some bright spark had the idea of um, putting two speakers together and making stereo, so we have a left and we have a right. You know, decades later, we have um, Atmos. So Atmos is the ability to mix on up to, I don't know, it could be 100 speakers, but in general it's usually um, 12 speakers, 714, or we can mix on 916, which is basically nine speakers around us, one subwoofer, and six speakers in the ceiling. So basically we have left, right, center, subwoofer, wides, middles, rears, front height, middle height, rear height. Um, so that's kind of the basics of it, but it's far more deeper than that. Um, Atmos was developed for the cinema, so you had this all-encompass you know, viewing experience. Um, but in the past kind of 78 years, the music industry have adopted it and it's been adapted to work for music. And this is groundbreaking technology. I'm mixing on 16 speakers, so it means I don't have to fit everything into two speakers. I can space the music around us and above us, behind us, in front of us, etc. etc. It's more than just the amount of speakers you have though, it's an object based system. So you can have up to 120 objects, so that basically means you can move those 128 objects in this three dimensional space, which gives music a whole new meaning and a whole new depth. Um, no matter what style of music you do, you can do it in Atmos. The great thing is, no matter if you've got one speaker, two speakers, five speakers, six speakers, right up to 100 speakers, the system folds up and down. So your music sounds via the technology because it's no fixed in a certain space. It's just a, a metadata in space. You can basically go from, you know, mono all the way up to say a line array speakers in a stadium and everything should pan out to be the way that producer and uh, musicians want you to hear it when it's an Atmos. Um, you can hear it in binaural and headphones although that technology is going to take a wee bit of time to catch up to being as good as sitting in a room listening to, you know, 16 speakers or 12 speakers. Um, it is a life-changing experience when you hear music in Atmos. So you need to hear it in a room with the speakers to understand where this is going. Um, it's coming in cars. It's going to be... It's already in, you know, your sound bars. It's in... TVs, it's going to be everywhere in the next 10 years. Atmos is going to be in spatial audio, is going to be the future of music because you never hear music like it when you hear it. And if it's done properly, it's amazing. So hopefully that kind of gives you a kind of rough idea of what Atmos and spatial audio is. Um, enjoy it because all the new QFX music is coming out in uh, spatial audio, Atmos. Cheers.